yes, the day has finally come. You can actually see all of your users in Go High Level on one screen. So I'm gonna show you this new view that I just added and basically walk you through how it works. So what we have is a username and if we click on this, we'll go straight to the analytics page and then we also have the type. So the type is agency in some cases. And by the way, this name is redacted, but in a real scenario, um, where I don't have to be worried about my user's privacy, you would actually see um, a name there, right? And then basically we have the total new context. This is all in the context of people that are assigned to this user. Then we have messages sent, email sent, calls made, calls answered, which is determined with AI. The quality grade of all the leads that they're getting, which is important because, I mean, we have touch rate, engagement rate, speed to lead, but we also have median AI sales grade. So we can actually see, okay, like, across users who's actually doing the best job look at this person go killing it and then look at this person um maybe you know just a tough week for them they're down from a b basically so anyways that's kind of how it works and then we have a list of locations that they're assigned to of course this is redacted this is just a location id but you get the idea so the beautiful thing about this is that um the t well i guess the tough part of high level is that if you have a bunch of users um, maybe VAs that are following up with leads for your clients in high level, you, it's really hard to know um, who's actually, you know, doing what they need to do because in order to check that, you have to go into each sub account and see the analytics for that user in each sub account. It's a huge pain in the ass and um, no one wants to do it. I know of several agencies that are manually copying over those numbers from each sub account and updating a spreadsheet just so they can have this information. Well, boom, look at this. It's zero work on your part. It literally updates automatically in real time, and it tells you all of this information that you need to know. Oh, I should add total talk duration, um, time spent on calls. But yeah, calls made, called answers, message sent, new contacts, all this stuff across all users, and that's on the overview page. So just a quick update. Click the link below if you wanna try out this app this is built specifically for high level, specifically for agency owners or business owners who have multiple locations or who have a ton of lead flow and need to be able to get in-depth AI analytics and pipeline automation um, for their CRM. So that's basically the pitch. Um, I just wanted to share this feature. And I'm doing a shit ton of work today on, so adding support for emails, adding support for tasks, which will show in the analytics page overview. Um, and then adding support right now, when high level sends me a notification, like, Hey, a message has just been sent. The status, um, for that message is either like delivered or failed or sent, which is really fucking dumb because I'll get a webhook that says, Hey, a message has been sent. What I would love to say is, dude, that's, that's cool. But let me know when that message has either been delivered or has failed. So I know what to do with it. But nice, you know, um, funny enough, they don't actually give you that information for, it's like random, like some messages that they say delivered, some of them say sent. So what I'm actually gonna do is implement um, a queuing system that basically whenever a message comes in where the status is sent, it'll fire off a webhook to a queue. That queue will wait probably a minute or two, fire back to my app, and then I'll check on the web, the message status and just see okay, like, you know, is this, um, has this been sent? Is it, you know, did it fail? Did it deliver? What's the status here? So that should give more um, accuracy on the actual message statuses. And then, yeah, so emails, tasks, message statuses, and, oh yeah, and then voicemail drops. Uh, that's another thing that for some reason, it's, well, it's separate from calls because it's actually a VM drop like in workflows. So if you ever have a workflow that goes, drop voicemail, then um, that's a separate type of message. So I ha I'm not capturing those at the moment. I'm gonna start capturing them, transcribing them, and just adding them to the context. And all of this is in preparation to really improve the context for each contact so that we can start um, adding AI actions. So what this is gonna be is, it's not a chatbot, it's not a closed bot competitor, it's not anything like that, um, because I still think a lot of sales need to be done manually and um, a lot of people just don't feel comfortable trying to automate everything. So what I'm going to do instead is build an interface that allows you to, um, or your users for your CRM or really whoever 
to go in and see all their outstanding tasks and all the contacts they need to follow up with. Um, and of course you can already do this stuff in high level, but it'll also give like a really easy way using the full conversation to generate a follow up AI text or email just to fire off to them. So um, it should make things a lot easier to follow up and hopefully improve CRM engagement because my product, um, you know, it uses AI to analyze a ton of stuff and, and move people through the pipeline. But that is redundant if people aren't using the, the CRM. If they're calling contacts with their personal phone and, you know, using a different CRM, then we have no fucking clue what's going on in the sales process. So the goal here is really to get your users to use the CRM more than they are right now. Um, that would be the ultimate goal. And that would give us much more accurate data and just give them better results, which in turn would give us better I don't know it's like a flywheel you know if you get more engaged in your leads then you talk to your leads more so you get better AI analysis so you know what to improve so then you talk to your leads more and then it's a flywheel so yeah that's a plan going forward that should hopefully be ready by the end of this week I'm shipping a shit ton lately um, I think over the weekend it was Google Ads and then yesterday it was the pipeline view on the analytics page. And then today it's um, this user's view and a bunch of other kind of context data. So then the rest of the week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, will be kind of the MVP of that actions view. Um, yeah, the plan right now is basically to build a bunch of features. I'm trying to figure out, like I have uh, almost nine users so far. Um, one is onboarding. And really, the question is, what are the main use cases and how do I really dial in so that it addresses those core use cases? Um, so I'm going wide right now, building out as many features as I see kind of making sense. And then once um, once those are ready, you know, this and then the actions thing and then also like some uh, reporting system, um, like for email reports, then we should be at a point where... Um, product market fit is higher and my close rate can go up right now my close rate it started high like 50 percent i stopped kind of trying on sales really like i would just like get on calls and just like yo do you want it um which isn't the best approach but uh my close rate kind of fell to like 30 percent. so um i think once i get these features added then it should address a lot more concerns and be a lot more helpful my close rate should go up and then hopefully referrals and stuff start to stream in and I can launch some more um, outbound and um, maybe advertising. So anyways, that's the plan um, over the next roughly two to four weeks. And yeah, hopefully I'll have another update tomorrow.